Hey everyone, so I've got some Charm High news and I've got a Tiny Pico update. Let's start with the Tiny Pico update. I have Tiny Picos back in stock. Yay! Only a small number for the moment, but I finally finished the crowd supply order. They've already got the first batch, it got delivered last week or the start of this week, and I've got the last two boxes going out to them on Tuesday, but they have enough stock now to start redistributing as well. And I have maybe about 80 or 90 <laughs> left over that I've made so far that I'm going to list on my store. Uh, they should be available as you watch this video. And I will be making more the uh, rest of next week, I guess, and for the foreseeable future. But yes, Tiny Picos are back in stock finally. I'm so sorry to those that have been waiting for a really long time. Um, yeah. It uh, never should, should have got to this level, but you all know why it has, and hopefully this will never happen again. So, Chum High. Well, interesting. As most of you know, I just want this over with. I just want to get a pick and place machine that works and be able to make my boards, right? My Tiny Picos, I want to start production of my Feather S2, my Pro S2. I've got another S2 board that... Uh, no one knows anything about yet that I want to surprise some people with and other things that I need to make and so I need a working pick and place machine and Chum have been telling me the whole time nothing wrong with the machine no refund no refund no refund right so you know what I thought I'd do the right thing and I would accept their electric feeders and ask them for some compensation and refunds for some very reasonable things, what I thought, right? I asked them to refund the cost of my 12, 16, and 24 millimeter feeders that aren't working properly, as I've demonstrated, and also refund me the 706 US dollars they charged me to ship the feeders to me, because I need to buy new feeders now from somewhere else. So I have to replace them all. So I think that's fair that they just refund me those feeders. They're gonna send me 36 electric feeders and that only solves my 8mm problem, not the fact that it's throwing D4s and USBs all over the place, right? The other thing I asked for, two other things I asked for, was $1,000 compensation for the money I've spent so far to even get the machine working as badly as it is, right? It's currently terrible, but terrible where I can, you know, frustratingly use it, but only because of the money I've spent so far on it. And this only solves the front bay, not the back bay. So I asked them $1,000, which is what I've spent so far on the machine. And I also asked them for $500 compensation for all of the components that I've lost. That's it. Money back for the feeders that I have to replace myself. Money for the work I had to do on the machine to even get it to where it is right now. And $500 compensation, which is not even close to enough for parts that I've lost. And the response back from them was, no, no, we can't afford it. They followed up the, we can't afford it with, and we don't believe that you'll delete all of your videos anyway. Okay, I've not even had that discussion with them. Then they followed up with, and you've hurt our business really badly, and we're really disappointed in you. Yeah, okay. I don't mind so much you disappointed in me. How do you think I feel right now about you and about your pick and place machine? Do you think there's much disappointment there? So I made what I th thought was a fair offer. It was about at least ten or $12,000 less than what it would have cost them to give me a full refund and pay for this machine to go back, which they may potentially lose when they try to bring it into the country. So at least $12,000 less than what it would have cost them for a full refund, and they said no. So, you know, does that not show that they are not dealing in good faith? To me, that just means they were never planning on sending me electric feeders as it was. They kept trying to do the whole, we'll send you one first thing. We'll send you one first. It's just more stalling tactic. 
So I've said to them, sorry, that deal is now expired and we're back to a full refund. I mean, this is just ridiculous, really. They have no intention of trying to solve this, but they're prepared to tell me that, you know, they're disappointed in me that I'm ruining their business. Well, I guess this is working, right? So once again, I encourage you all, don't do business with Charm High. There are so many other options out there if you're looking for a low end to a medium, you know, type price range, Chinese pick and place. You've got Neoden that's at the medium to higher end. You've got KO that's a medium to high end. You have got um, Qhe, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, that is a pretty much a direct competitor to Charm High with, from what I understand, as good a machine or better and much better customer service. People are telling me five out of five stars for customer service, right? Neoden also have lower end machines that look almost identical to the smaller Charm Highs like I used to have, the 36VA. They've got small machines, they've got medium range machines with their Neoden 4, and they've of course got their Neoden 8, which is pretty high end right now. So there are plenty of other options out there that you can choose if you want to buy a pick and place machine that isn't Charm High. Please don't buy Charm High. Please don't support this despicable behavior that they're doing. Okay, that's it. Sorry, I was really hoping that I'd be able to give you all some fantastic news, right? I, I felt like I caved, I gave them an out so I could move on and so they could move on. And they're just not prepared to settle on anything. So uh, maybe next time we speak, I'll have some better news for you, but I doubt it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks to uh, all my patrons. I really appreciate it. If you enjoying this stuff, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. If you really want me to get back onto just building really cool projects, which I'd love to do and stop with this charm high stuff. Well, maybe give me a hand. Let everyone, you know, know not to deal with charm high. Maybe get in Charm High's face. I don't know, but I'd love to get back to making normal projects. And I know most of you would like me to do that too. Okay, that's it. Happy Tiny Pico. Happy Tiny Picoing. Bye.